This is a quick video to follow up on the uh, dimension or the uh, alternate dimensions that I was talking about in my blog post uh, from yesterday. Um, one of the comments I made was being able to use alternate units based on a dimension style that doesn't have any line work. Uh, what I meant by that is if I create a lined style that's based on alternate units, <coughs> I can configure the values in here so that all I get is a dimension line and I can leave off all the other annotation and then I can park it on top of that one and then if I come up here and grab this and go to the overall I can park one on top of this one then I can drag this over here and so this is the extra labor or at least some of it now I chose to use underlined to make this stand out because this avoids having to go in here and put parentheses, sorry, put parentheses in here to get that look. <coughs> uh, it's still more work than we ought to have to go through to get that kind of information displayed, uh, but it's one way to do it so that if the design changes, you could potentially redesign it based on metric input instead and still have the ability to show either or. Hope it helps.